Okay. All right, so we're just we're just building out a pressure pattern. So we just we just blitzed one guy from each side, and look, there's a million ways to pressure. I mean, it's all over the internet. How who who you want to blitz and all that. So now. You can blitz one guy and bring five. Now, you, now we want to bring we want to bring two guys, okay? And we want to bring double edge pressure. So this to us is just one term, just whatever you want to say, double edge. Call it barrel, okay? Well, if I'm going to bring two guys, all right, <clears throat> all right, and I want to and I want to drop two. So this is a separate, this is a separate pressure pattern for us that we call. And now you can start to layer the fronts and it's just still the same techniques, all right, for everybody on the field, but you're just changing it from play to play. So here's your double edge, you're dropping two interior guys. Okay, but you can see the quarterback, as we're playing 400 too deep right here. Here's your 200, 400 guys, but, um, we're just changing it up on the quarterback. So same pressure structure, completely different front than we just showed. So now we're gonna bring this guy, bring him, drop these two D tackles now and still bring double edge. It's the same exact pressure call, okay, against, but with a, it's the same exact pressure call, but just with a different front and a different personnel group, okay? So now these are the two guys popping out. We have double edge, all right, where we can eat up the back on one side. All five linemen right here initially are accounted for with these five initial droppers. And as we pop and drop, okay, now we can get two on the back. This is, um, we're, in, we're in really a man type idea here. So these guys, their, their coverage responsibility is, is very limited. They have landmarks on the field that they're going to. Everybody else is accounted for in man-to-man -man techniques. So these guys are really not responsible for a person. So we coach this to be patient in their drop, to actually engage the guy and then pop out. If they were to have some, if this guy, like if Calais Campbell was in charge of the middle hook, <laughs> it's hard to, to get him to con, you know connect to a guy and pop out of there and be able to get to a landmark when he's you know 300 pounds and six eight or whatever he is. Okay. I thought this one was interesting here because again, you're still building, like you're still building out your pressure system. So now we're saying, okay, I'm still just guys. We're just blitzing one person here off the ball. These are our four down linemen. This is an, this is an inside backer. This is another down lineman. So again, we're changing the front. We're all we're doing is just blitzing one guy. So, and we're just, and then these guys are opting or these guys are operating off a certain coverage that we did. So in this case, we're in fire zone. Okay, so these guys, all they care is that the, the, the coverage is fire zone. They don't care about what else is going on. Okay, but we, we dress it up and now we can bring interior. Now we said, okay, well, I, we want to blitz this guy in the A gap. Well, that's great. Okay, but you know, also is great is getting all these linemen accounted for. Okay, and then creating a twist inside. All right, to put stress on the offensive line and put the back in conflict right here. So, making sure the offensive line is accounting for the five guys. And then again, show out to rush in and then adding a pick element to it. Okay. Where they're in some sort of man conflict in their blocking assignments. And now you get a natural twist and build it. Okay. But if you were to go back to that initial slide that I showed you earlier, This, this is just a front and the pressure. And everyone knows this is, let's call it stack, dime, fire zone. And that's it. And that's how we ran it that week. So to answer the person's question of how you build certain things each week, okay, well, this is just dime, fire zone. But this week we're riding a pick and we're playing fire zone out of it. Same learning for nine, nine of the guys on the field. Two of them now, they're just changing up their pattern. So you're, we're really running the same play um 
against Cleveland, making it look a little bit different. Changing the personnel. This was Justin Houston. Now this is Adafi Owe. Okay, people are in different spots, but everyone else is running the exact same fire zone technique. Okay, but changing it up. And, and now you start to bank reps over the course of a season. So you're not just re, rerunning pressures every week and you're, you know, reinventing the wheel. 